I love the RO. Uh, I, I love it to pieces. I love it so much. Alright, so <laughs> welcome back. Today is the day after we collected. It is uh, 55 to 60 degrees and raining, and it is just horrible yucky outside. However, last night Sam and I came in and we we packed this bin full of ice and we fired up the reverse osmosis machine. And so if you follow my, uh, if you see my past videos, you would have seen this machine. I don't know if that light's helpful or not, but you would have seen this machine except it was on the wall. And so what I did was I still got the Aquatech 8800 and it run through a small, uh, small low gauge. It goes through a 10 inch, five micron filter and then I have two RO membranes and those are 150 gallons per day each wired in parallel figured I'd give the parallel a try um, and so over here is our sap it pulls it out the bottom of the barrel and then you can see that it is just dribbling right back in and I usually keep this covered up and then if you come out over here, if you come over here, you can see, I'll try to get that light so it's helpful, but you can see that's dribbling in. So we ran this last night for about nine hours and uh, we have reduced 45 gallons of sap down to right around um, right around 20 gallons right now. So I, we, we measured it last night with the hydrometer and we were at 2.1% uh, sugar content. So let's pull out the hydrometer and let's measure it again. We're hovering right in the four and a half percent mark right now. Four and a half percent isn't too bad. Um, and so if you think about four and a half percent is, uh, well do the math with me really quick. And, and so, you know, 86 divided by four, so now we're in the uh, 21 point something range. Um, we will pull a sample off just the returning sap. That's about 5.1. Before I leave you, I want, I want to clear up something on my little, uh, my little RO machine. You're gonna say, hey Joe, did you buy one of those RO buckets? No, I didn't buy an RO bucket. I already had all these, these pieces to it. Um, but there's a guy out there selling the RO bucket and, and what a great idea, put it in a bucket. I have a handle, I can unplug everything, carry it into the house when it gets really cold. And that guy is a genius. Um, in all honesty, he sells a great looking product at a great price. Is the RO worth it? I had a, a good friend of mine, I said, should I build a bigger evaporator? Should I build a bigger, uh, or should I buy an RO? He said, go RO. And what the RO has done is it pulls out 20 gallons of sap while I sleep. It would have pulled out another 20 gallons while I was at work. My evaporator will boil off seven gallons an hour. Seven gallons is a long time when you've got 40, 50, 
80 gallons to boil up. But if I can reduce with the RO, now my machine, my evaporator is 10, 12. Um, and I don't have to feed it wood. So, I love the RO. Uh, I, I love it to pieces. I love it so much. So, thanks for joining me. Kind of a short blog, vlog, if you will. Kind of short vlog, but it's, uh, it's a rainy day. Hoping to boil tomorrow. So, we will talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.